Hello guys, this is Mesut and welcome to Learn It YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you how to make 2D animations in OpenTunes. This will be a quick start guide and will make a frame by frame animation. Let's get started. After opening OpenTunes, we should add a level. The level can be raster or vector. What is the difference? Let's see. First, let's add a raster level and let's draw a circle here. And let's add a vector level and let's draw a circle here. Using mouse scroll, you can get closer and you see that in the raster we can see the pixels. So when you get closer, when you zoom in, the image is distorted. In the vector, the image didn't change. So this is the different document. And let's create a new level, vector level. It will be. First we draw the first picture. I'm using mouse, that's why image can be not accurate. And I click here on the level and I can create the second image now. In order to see what we had in the first image, when you see the yellow circle, just click and we can see that in red what we have in the first frame. Now I draw the second image. And click one time more and the third image I am drawing now. And we have now three images. Let's go to the timeline. And on the timeline we have the first image now here. I want that this first image will be, will continue five frames for example. Here FPS frames per second 24. In one second uh, we'll have 24 frames. I can click here and move it. So for example I'll have five frames of this picture on the sixth one. I can move the second image here and that will be also five frames and after that we'll have the next image here each picture will be shown for five frames we can play and we can see the animation in a loop let's draw also other elements in the animations let's add one more vector level we can use menu or we can use these buttons new vector level the vector level is added it will be at this position because i am going to draw the punching back here now i want that the puncture back will be another color that's why i am changing the color now and i am drawing punching back and this for punching back so we can give some animations for punching back and the animation button is here animate button and when it's hit and we can shear a little it for example here first let's move this and we can shear it a little more here here and here so let's see it it's a little moving so let's add one more vector level and here we are going to have the other parts for example let's draw a line here and this line also will be animated a little because when it's hit we can rotate it a little but first the rotation center let's move to the top after that we can rotate it how we want and firstly I want to move this one here and here now I can rotate it and one more vector level and this will be the top part so let's draw here so but first we need to uh, see it at the beginning that's, that's why command X I cut it and on the first frame command V and move it to other frames and here also these ones these lines I see um, in all frames con command C and command V to the first frame and I'll move it 
like this in fact control x and control v here and this one also like this first vc just that control c and common c and command v so i'm moving that again i am bringing that command x command v now let's see lastly let's add some sounds i have a sound on the desktop let's just move the wave sound move it and it will be imported imported at this position let's select it <coughs> command x and let's put it here command v and then unnecessary parts we can select and we can delete them let me see there are some unnecessary parts here also we can delete them yes this is the result work in the open tools file format and also you can render fast render to mp3 but in order to do that you need to install ffmpeg that's all for today if my video is helpful for you please subscribe to my channel share and like videos thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next video